Hi everybody. So I ordered this Mountain Rose shipment. Oh man. At least at least a month ago, I want to say. So, yeah, it's uh it's been a long time coming opening this guy up. So, I technically can't even remember kind of what's in there. So, <laughs> but Mountain Rose Herbs um, here in the U.S. And uh, they are in Eugene, Oregon. I have a friend who lives near New G Eugene. All right. So let's, let's see what's in this guy. Dun, dun, dun. Okay. Now I usually use, I use Mountain Rose a lot uh, because I like a couple of different things. I mean, they're, they're very open about their sustainability. And I also um, prefer certified organic for my apothecary. And so it looks like in here they've got a little bitty handout for herbal bitters, which is awesome because, was it a month ago I think we put away our herbal bitters? I'll probably strain that with you guys soon. Uh, 623. It looks like we put that away. So yeah, we can strain that soon. And I got a product care guide, which is great. But then I got a listing of everything in there. But um, yeah, yeah, so let's see. Let's see what's going on in here. All right, so here's what a pound of valerian root looks like. So the roots are not as um, as heavy, or no, they're heavier than the leaves. So a pound of leaves is going to be much, much bigger than a pound of root. I was looking to see what I have over here. So like, I've taken some out of here, but this, for example, would be a pound of yarrow. So you can see the difference between one pound of root versus a pound bag of yarrow. And again, this one's had probably a third taken out already, so it would have been pretty full. So, all right, valerian. So I use valerian mainly in my uh, sleep elixir. So let's see, what else do we have here? Oh, I'm gonna run out of table space, okay. Sage, so I use sage, it can be useful for hot flashes, but also for um, uh, facial steams and sinus steams, it's drying. Um, so that's what four ounces of sage looks like. Much lighter, you can see it's in the same pound, it's almost, a, it's a little bit smaller bag, but um, so four ounces of dried herb, leaves versus root. Plantain, four ounces. So plantain is going to be wonderful for the skin. It can be very soothing um, in a GI or a UTI formulation as well. I'm working on a UTI T level two. That's gonna have that in there. And plantain's also great in a salve for the skin. Love it in an itch salve. So here's some pink rose petals. So we have four ounces here. And so pink rose petals, I love to use it. Um, it's in a few teas that I make. Um, and ashwagandha rose elixir that I showed you guys. Speaking of ashwagandha. <laughs> so I tried to get the powder, but they were out. So I got a whole bunch. Oh. Ashwagandha here, guys. Uh, so two one pound bags of ashwagandha. You know, like we've talked about before, ashwagandha has a wonderful affinity for the adrenal glands. Um, it can help with sleep as well. Chamomile, so two, four ounces of chamomile as well. So Nervine kind of helps calm. It can be used um, outside on the skin too great baby's bath and then to put in my fridge for myself some white rose um, hydrosol toner I use it as a facial toner um, the hydrosol is the byproduct or the other half when you make essential oils let's see here oh powerhouse ladies vitex all right so um, I just I extract vitex and deep eddy vodka I showed you guys uh, in the feed and all most of my um, videos are also on my YouTube channel too, but to kind of show you how I how I made the Vitex tincture. And I can't remember if we strained it together or not. I know I strained the fire cider with you guys. All right, English lavender. 
guys, the smell, like even through the bag, <laughs> is really, really amazing. I love lavender. Um, just putting it in olive oil and making like a little skin rub or something like that, you know. So this is this is kind of the the amount of lavender that I buy at a time. I use it in teas. I'll use it in skin salves and herbal baths and things like that. So um, even facial steams. So a whole lot of things that you can do with that gal. A couple more in here. Let's see what we got. Lemon verbena. So this is a pound of lemon verbena. And um, she lemon verbena is helpful for muscles, but I have it in my um, lemony relax tea um, with lemon balm and lemongrass. I love the lemons. Okay, skull cap. A nervine. This is what a pound pound of her looks like. <laughs> Yeah, so I use um, Skullcap and Passionflower sometimes interchangeably, even though they kind of have um, different accents on a real deep level. But, oh yeah, okay, one more. This is what was smelling up my entire office. Spearmint. So, a pound of spearmint. So you can see some of them end up getting packed flat. Some of them they kind of push down in order to fit in the box. They actually bag everything right when you're ordering it. So that's why I do love Mountain Rose Herbs. So... Yeah, so if anybody joined us late, let's just run through as we put things back in the box so that I can bring it back out and do an inventory and take note of everything. Because remember when you're making formulations, you want to keep, a, uh, um, you want to keep in mind and write down the lot number and then also when it was packed. Um, and then remember with uh, herbs, they all have a specific, um, they have an official name and then a common name. So the official name is how you want to order them. So we've got, just putting it back in the box, we've got a pound of spearmint. We have a pound of lavender flowers. We have a pound of skull cap. Let's see, four ounces of plantain. Pound of lemon verbena. Four ounces of pink roses. Um, I'm not even showing the camera. I went a little crazy. Two things ashwagandha, right? Two things of chamomile. Even though I've got plenty, I just, you know, with COVID, I just want to make sure that I stock up enough and have the staples. So Vitex, hormones. Um, I used that was in uh, part of my fertility trio that I used from, and I got, uh, well, I didn't get, but one of my <laughs> uh, friends slash clients um, gave birth at 49 in December. So uh, this is valerian root for sleep and then sage for a multitude of things, including hot flashes. So, oh yeah, and then my white rose toner, hydrosol that I'm gonna put in the fridge for myself, kind of spritz, you know. So that's kind of um, my mystery herb box. Like I say, I can, I can lift it, but it's not necessarily the easiest thing. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Um, next time when I get together with y'all, probably tomorrow, I'm gonna to be showing, I'm gonna talk about nettles all about nettles. So if you have allergies or if you know somebody that has allergies, it'd probably be good to tag them and let them know uh, because I'm going to be talking about nettles. She's a wonderful nutritive, uh, but I'm going to talk and, and I'm going to show you guys, uh, I'm going to strain a tincture with you as I talk tomorrow. So that'll be a whole lot of fun. But yeah, just wanted to show you my mystery box. Um, let me know if you've used any of these herbs before or if you've never heard of some of these herbs before. And um, it was really great to, to be here with you guys. Looks like we have Natasha, Linda, Ute, Eliza, Taylor, Wanda, Harmony, ooh, Sylvia, Cindy. Okay, so a lot of folks. So let's see, we've got some questions here. Do, 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 do. Are they locally sourced? So um, these are sourced globally by Mountain Rose Herbs. So they are from different countries. It actually says on the bag, um, I think you, or at least when I order it online, it tells you which country it's from. And you can, they have a whole lot of information about their sourcing process and, and uh, everything like that. But I do have a lot of connections for local herbalists and different herbalists across the country. So if you're looking for a particular herb and you want to be able to get somebody to wildcraft it, I may know somebody or know somebody who knows somebody. So um, definitely feel free to give me a, a DM. And let's see, you, yeah, you're just in the middle of making an order. I know, I was making a list. I always have a list to be able to make an order. And then, you know, I was like, well, I have this box. I need to go through and see what's in there so I don't order anything again, which includes chamomile. I had that on my list. Um, so let's see here. 
Do, 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 do. Yes, Vitex is amazing. Awesome. Sylvia putting in for lemon. Lemon verbena can be helpful for muscle aches. I've tried to use the essential oil in a bath, but um, it was just, it was too hot for me. It just like started to sting all over the place. So the only thing I put in a bath now is lavender. It's the only one I trust really. Um, yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to sign off. So it was fun bringing you into my home apothecary and kind of showing you around uh, everything. I have a couple of new products. Um, you know, that, uh, that you can see kind of on my, on my feed and things like that or on my, on my page. But yeah, I just wanted to come together with you guys and show you an unboxing. All right. Love and light, everybody. Thank you for being here. I hope you're doing well. See you tomorrow.